In both males and females, there are pelvic floor muscles whose functions are to maintain both urine and fecal continence. In these diagrams, the shaded red area illustrates where the pelvic floor muscles are located. For over 60 years, doctors have been prescribing Kegel exercises to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles as a natural treatment for incontinence. More recently, clinical research has demonstrated hastened and enhanced results using electromyographic biofeedback with vaginal erectile sensors to train these muscles. Several studies have demonstrated that strengthening pelvic floor muscles prior to prostate surgery childbirth provides better outcome than doing Kegel exercises alone or doing biofeedback and Kegels only after surgery or childbirth. These exercises are also important for the elderly since as with most muscles, the pelvic floor muscles gradually weaken with the result that incontinent episodes can occur. Initially, biofeedback may be done in the doctor's office, followed with practice at home with a biofeedback system such as U-Control which combines a handheld biofeedback device and a vaginal or rectal sensor. The sensor is easily self-inserted and the wire that comes from the sensor is simply plugged into the device. Since you control as a prescription device, it is important that you follow any specific instructions given to you by your physician. A typical session may be as follows. Make sure the work rest cycle switch in the battery compartment is set to the 10 second position. Insert the appropriate sensors as shown and then turn the unit on so the volume is at maximum. Lie on your back with your legs supported on a chair with your feet rotated outwards at approximately 90 degrees from each other. Now calibrate your device by lifting your pelvic floor muscles strongly as you turn the threshold dial so that the first yellow light above the threshold line is illuminated at your maximum contraction. Note the number in the small window, then set the dial so the threshold is about 75% of this reading. This is your initial training range. When the work light turns on, lift your pelvic floor muscles, breathe in, and hold your breath. Try to maintain your muscle activity above the threshold reading. Always try to keep your abdominal, buttocks, and leg muscles relaxed during the exercise, since for example, tension the abdominal region can put pressure on your bladder. When the rest light turns on, breathe out and release your muscles. Continue doing 10 second work and 10 second rest cycles for 20 minutes, twice a day and expect to feel sweaty and out of breath. The goal is to achieve a combination of quickly tensing, strengthening, and sustaining voluntary contractions. Here is an example of an unstable session where one is trying too hard. You can see how the signal is moving around and is not stable. Here is a perfect session where the readings are stable and above threshold. If you aren't able to maintain a stable reading, lower the threshold setting until it is stable. As you gain strength, gradually increase the threshold level. Another useful exercise is to do quick flicks where you quickly lift and relax the muscles during the 10 second work period. Learning this technique can help you avoid incontinent episodes by quickly lifting your pelvic floor muscles when you're about to laugh, cough, or sneeze. For more information, contact Thought Technology.